Well, hello, lovely humans, and welcome back to my channel. I, uh, I, I, I spent a lot of money on something, and I need to justify it by recording a video on it. I came to you guys. I don't know if you saw my last like everyday hair care or hair curl video. Uh, I'll link it right here um, if you want to check that out. But I talked about this curling iron in that video. And a couple of people said it was totally worth it, and then a couple other people said, don't do it, buy something else, and I did it anyways. I caved and got the Twirl Trio, say that 10 times, Twirl Trio from T3 because I just could not help myself. I have heard amazing rave reviews about this curling iron specifically. If you've been around for a hot minute, then you know I prefer curling irons to curling wands because I like my fingertips. Um, and whenever I use a wand, I burn the heck out of them. So uh, I'm still old fashioned curling iron with the tongs attached. And I had this old Conair curling iron that I had used for years and years and years and it totally died on me. And I figured it was time for a new one. Well, I caved and got a new Conair and it was ripping my hair out. So on Prime Day, when this bad boy, which is normally retails for like 300 something dollars, was down to 227, I was like, I don't care. I need it. I love to curl my hair. So I figured for this week's video we would be doing an unboxing and trying it for the very first time. And I want you to know that I waited several days to use this curling iron because I wanted to make sure I had time to film it. So like the patience that it took my soul to wait to be able to make this for you guys, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page and appreciating this together, okay? I'm so excited to open this. Oh, also, hi, if you're new here, my name's Jamie. Welcome to my channel. If you're here to investigate the T3, I have no idea what I'm doing, okay? I just know that I like curling my hair, so you're not looking at a professional here by any scope of the imagination, but I'd really appreciate it if you jumped on down there and hit that subscribe button if you want to keep hanging out because, uh, I, I'd love to have you. Basically, there is a one inch clip barrel, a one and a quarter, and one and a half, which are all three of the curling irons I currently own. So this potentially could replace all three of those, which would be kind of cool. My only hesitation with the removable heads is that I wonder if it's gonna make them less secure while using them because they've introduced like a, a break point in it, so to speak. So I'm not quite sure how sturdy it'll be when I use it, but for $227, it better be freaking sturdy. And they have something called single pass technology. The Twirl Trio is enhanced with intelligent digital technology to work in one pass. All right, we'll see about that. Uh, an internal microchip controls temperature fluctuation, ensuring even optimal heat. And then one little disclaimer I should probably share is um, we just recently moved to Texas and I have no idea what to do with my hair in this humidity at all. Um, in California, my hair would hold a curl for days on end and I have naturally um, wavy hair. So uh, now that we're here, for some reason the humidity causes my curls uh, when I use a curling iron to fall out which I always heard the exact opposite, that humidity would cause your hair to become frizzy. That's not the case for me. For some reason, my structured curls tend to fall flat and get really, really funky looking at, in less than a day. So I'm hoping this single pass technology uh, passes the Texas humidity test because I miss having my curly hair for days on end because right now I'm having to style it every other day and that's driving me bonkers because I'm not about that life, okay? So let's go ahead and open this up. It's awarded Best of Beauty from Allure in 2019, so there's that. Okay, so we've got the base, and then one, two, three curling barrels. Oh, sweet, it comes with a little bag. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely the person that curls my hair before getting on a flight and then goes, oh shoot, I can't put this in my bag. <laughs> So these little heat protectant carriers are a big deal for me because uh, I like to curl my hair before I go on a flight. That doesn't make any sense, but I like my hair being done. Which is why I hope that this is going to be a super wise investment for me because I miss my curly hair. Okay, so the handle itself is not super heavy. And now I need to decide which barrel I want to try. My go-to is usually inch and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. And I, what I like about this convertible collection is if I ever wanted to go to Wands, which I probably will not want to go to Wands, but if I ever did, they do have the option too. So they've got quite a few different options, both for clip barrels and for Wands. But again, I can't be trusted with Wands in general. <laughs> Power and temperature switch are the same exact ones. That is a bummer that there's no number system on here. You just press the power button until you get it to the heat that you want it to be at. And then you just hopefully remember the temperature guide here based on your hair. Like the highest point is 410, the next one below that is 390, 350, 300, 260. So I don't like that there isn't a temperature gauge. Even on my cheapy little Conair one, I was able to twist it to get it to different 
points, um, but this one only has five temperature points, so that'll be interesting. So there's a little lock, unlock mechanism, which I think will hold the barrel in place better. It did take me a minute to figure out that I couldn't just rest the barrel in there, that I had to like push until I heard an audible click. Right now, this, the lights are kind of slowly lighting up as it shows that it's heating. I don't know what to what level though. Oh, I forgot my little tray. Fun little life hack. My mom actually got this for me when I was like 16. It's just a ceramic tray. And since I sit on the floor a lot to do my hair and I naturally would prefer not to light my carpet on fire, I will rest my hot tools on it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can get this one to work because it's, it's a slippery slidey. But it's a great way to uh, protect your carpet and it's a cute little, little trinket tray but it's just large enough for my straightener and my curling iron if I happen to be using both. If you want more of like a how I actually curl my hairstyle video, um, definitely go to my everyday curls one because that's where I kind of explain everything that I'm doing a lot better than I'm going to today. Today we are just going to try this out. Okay, so it looks like it's fully heated up. That was probably a minute and a half, I kid you not, that heated up very quickly. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking to see how easy and how quickly it curls my hair and if my hair gets caught at all. Now some of this could be user error. I have not used this before and I can't believe I'm filming me using it for the first time on camera, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, it is slightly heavy, like the barrel has a nice weight to it, but it'll be interesting to see if it annoys me after a while. You know some mugs, I'm totally gonna tangent for a second. Do you ever base how much you like a coffee cup based on its weight? Do you know what I'm talking about? How some of them are like super heavy or some of them are too light? Let me know down below if that's, some, if you understand where I'm coming from. And I have no mirror in front of me, so you guys are it. All right, so far the tongue moves nicely. And I love the end of this. I'll show you guys in just a sec. No, no. No, no. First impression. That is a delightful curl. I did find the ends of my hair as I was trying to slowly work it off get caught on this a little bit, but I wonder if as I'm going, it will um, become easier and I'll learn to avoid that. But that was a little bit of a bummer because it did invert my curl just a teensy bit. This tip is cool to the touch, which is really nice, but it's also a little concave, so it's a great place to rest my finger. I'm working the uh, barrel down my hair strands, so I do like that. It'll just be interesting to see if I continue to catch my hair on that. See? So nice. Cause none of my other curling irons have a flat piece right there. All right, so let's check this unwind. Okay, so now that I know that lip was there, I handled it a little differently and it came out just fine. That's a pretty decent curl. I lost some hairs on that one. Can you see them? Yeah. I felt that pulling. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, so three curls in and I already have hair caught that got caught right in here. Um, probably pulled out two or three, it wasn't that bad. It was nothing compared to my Conair, but I would think that for a $300 uh, curling iron set that I wouldn't be uh, pulling hair out like that. So that was a bit of a bummer. Um, we'll try it again and just see if I pay more attention to keeping it away from that area. But again, 300 bucks, I don't wanna be losing hair to it, you know? Ooh. Oh, that curl is perfection. Look at that. Okay, I love that. Okay, so I'm just gonna spit out a couple thoughts real fast on how I'm liking this. So my hair is not caught since. Um, I say that and I just found one hair in here. I also like the, the pressure of the tong or the clip is consistent the whole way down. So even if I have a larger piece of hair, um, it doesn't, the end, like the itty bitty bits of my, the ends of my hair don't automatically fall out when I get to the end. So like, for example, that's actually a pretty wide, <laughs> wide but thin section. But watch, I get all the way down to the very, very end like this, and there's like barely any strands there, right? In my other curling iron, that would fall out. I would have to sit there and hold it to make sure everything stayed in place. But there's, even though there's all this hair in there, the pressure is still enough to hold the itty bitty tips of my hair in place while the uh, the curling iron does its magic. Do you see some tong marks? Which hopefully will smooth out. And that's when this will leave a teensy bit of a crease on there. It's important to note I don't have anything in my hair, no product, um, not even a heat protectant. Oh, I know, I know, I should have done that. But I was too excited to use this. Um, and I actually have stuff to, I, that I have to go do today. So I just wanted to race through this video. So I don't have anything in it, no hairspray, nothing. Here 
is the curled look. I do anticipate these curls uh, falling out a little bit. Just as a reminder, this is the inch and a quarter. I do anticipate this loosening as the day goes on, so I know that's gonna happen. I'm gonna go ahead and blast this with a little bit of hairspray, and then I'm not gonna touch it for a little bit um, to let these curls cool and really lock into place, and then I'll probably do some finger combing through my hair. So I do expect this to loosen up a lot. So it'll just be interesting to see if these curls can withstand the Texas humidity, because uh, my, my other curling iron doesn't seem to be doing the trick. But if, if these do fall out because of the weather, um, then we'll just know that Jamie can no longer have curly hair since she moved halfway across the country. It's just like no longer an option. So my thoughts. One, it's heavier than I'm used to, so I think it'll get it'll take some getting used to. Two, the placement of the power button. I, I knocked this guy like five, maybe six times while curling. So it just happens to be right where my hands are. The good news is, is it didn't change anything, but I could hear the click and then I panicked thinking, oh my gosh, did I just make it hotter or did I accidentally turn it off? Um, so it is pretty easy to hit, but it doesn't end up really doing anything. It, it seems like you have to apply pressure for a little bit longer of a period of time, but it did take a little bit of getting used to. I obviously did lose a little bit of hair to this lip right here, but once I was aware that that could happen, I ended up just kind of holding my hand slightly differently and only lost, lost like one or two more hairs after that. Nothing like my Con Air that like rips out giant chunks, so I call this already pretty successful. Oh, I don't like, here listen. It's kind of squeaky. It's kind of annoying, and that could just be just this one, I'm not sure, but I didn't care for it. But I think the best way to give like a fair and honest review is to see how this looks after a few hours. So I'm gonna leave the video here. Again, we're gonna go spray it. I do anticipate these falling out just a little bit, but hopefully they will stay a lot longer throughout the day. So I will uh, go spray, finger comb in a little bit, and get back to you later on today with my full thoughts to see if this thing is really worth 300 something dollars. Okay, so it's been. <laughs> I clearly didn't come back to uh, tell you my thoughts on it. Let's see, I bought that in October. It is now the end of March, and I am here to tell you that this is not worth it. When I moved here, I did not anticipate the humidity affecting my hair, how I style it so strongly. I mean, my hair doesn't really hold a curl for a super long time if it is a humid day out. So that was kind of an emotional process for me because I really like doing my hair. I'm very attached to how my hair looks because it's it's fun. I like, I like having fun hair, which is why I didn't mind investing a huge chunk of money into a curling iron set that I thought would be totally worth it. It still puts dents in my hair. My hair still does snap. In fact, I pulled some out of the barrel of this. Oh, I can't even stand my hair right now. Why? Why? Okay, let's just do this. So because my hair is so important to me, I didn't mind making an investment like this if it was going to work. Basically, it was a waste of 200 something dollars, and I got it on sale. And I just checked on Amazon, and it's 325 I would never pay that for this. I mean, sure, it gets the job done. It's fine, but I've used $30 curling irons from Target that did the same exact thing. This has replaced my other curling irons, so it is nice to have like the interchangeable heads, but in my opinion, this is no miracle worker, and I thought it would be. Of course, we need to give like a little bit of credit to my emotional process. Like this, I'm severely let down. I'm very sad that this curling iron wasn't the miracle cure to make sure that my curls stick here in Texas, um, so we need to give a little grace for that, but uh, basically after five and a half, almost six months of using this, I am ashamed to admit that I spent 200 something dollars on this, and I just personally don't think that it's worth it. You may have had a different experience with it and that makes me really excited for you. I wish that was the case for me. So if you are on the market for a curling iron, go to Target. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's cute. I like the aesthetic. Moral of the story is Texas humidity will always win, no matter how much you spend on hair products. So that's what we have for this video, guys. If you liked it, of course, jump on down there. Give it a thumbs up. I, I also bought the Dyson Air Wrap, so if you want me to give an honest review of how that's going, let me know, because, you know, I apparently am overspending on my hair. Because it's super important to me, and so I keep investing in it, hoping that I'll find the miracle bill. <sighs> maybe the Dyson Air Wrap is it, or maybe just gonna be let down all over again. And until next time, bye guys. <laughs>